Welcome to Artisanal Premium Cheese. My name is Max McCalman. I am the Dean of Curriculum. Today we're going to speak about the cheese clock, how to make use of it, and how to pair cheeses with wines or beers. If you would like to replicate the experience that a chef would do in your own home, you might start closest to you at 6 o'clock on your plate with the mildest cheeses. We find the mildest cheeses work best with the mildest wines, the sparkling wines, the lighter beers like the Pilsners. Then as you go through the progression, you'll find that the medium, the bigger cheeses work better with the bigger wines. The cheeses that have the bigger flavors work better with the bigger flavored wines or the bigger flavored beers. And then as you go to the top of your plate, the chef would then align these cheeses or your fromager would align the bolder cheeses at the top of the plate. So you're into the deeper part of the progression now with bigger flavored wines, with your bigger reds, with your India Pale Ales. And then the strongest cheeses would end up with your dessert wines, your ports, your sauternes. The strongest cheeses would be reserved for the last part of your plate. The fundamentals of the progression are mild to strong, it's usually softer to harder, younger to aged. It's also valuable to alternate textures, to alternate animal types, to alternate provenances. Anything you do to distinguish one cheese type from the other, that will help to make the progression more interesting. The cheese clock is a good tool for pairing cheeses and wines or beers.